So hey guys, Candice Nicole here, and as you have just seen, those are looks of Lolita 1 and Lolita 2. Now, any makeup junkie knows that Lolita is like the must-have in your collection, and it is exclusive to Sephora, but Kat Von D has switched up the formula and had kind of produced, inevitably produced a Lolita 1 and a Lolita 2. So to kind of introduce us to the difference between the two shades, even though it was kind of noticeable for consumers, um, they've released <clears throat> the Lip Duo. And so it was two of the three milliliter bottles of the liquid lipstick in a double pack for 19 something, I think. Yeah, I think, I think it was like $20. Um, luckily enough, I had a Sephora gift card, so I only ended up paying $2. Come through gift card, come through. So, um, this is the packaging. Kat Von D has her signature, like, vamp, um, whatever font. <clears throat> On the back here, it says, Too Many Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks in Lolita, a chestnut rose, and Lolita, a terracotta nude. Coda nude. Cotta? Coda. Um, so these are the size of the lipsticks. Um, they are rather small, but anybody who is familiar or loves a liquid to matte knows that you only really need one application per wear, so these two should last me a fairly long time. This is a three milliliter size. And so when you compare it to, let's say, a colored rain, this is the comparison. So it's about half of what you would tr traditionally get in a liquid um, tube. This is the dose of color. And I mean, this one's wider, so I can't really call it. It's probably like one of these. Um... <clears throat> and this is a LA Splash color. Let's see, this is Lime Crime. So, I mean, you get a good amount. This is Sephora's. So, you will be able to at least get a good couple months out of these two. Um, and that's with everyday wear, and you're not going to wear them every day. I mean, you might, because I'm considering wearing low little one every day so but just to kind of give you a review of how i feel about them this formula probably tops most of my liquid to matte formulas um because it's just so smooth and my lips don't feel extremely extremely dry this is my first taste with kat von d um i've been looking for lolita forever and this is like my first taste of what Kat Von D liquid lipsticks are like. So she kind of has me. Like if this is how the formula and the feel of all the other ones are, you got my money, girl. Um, but of course, like all liquid to mattes, it comes with the applicator sponge that looks like this. Very smooth, very simple. Um, <clears throat> one stroke got the job done. This, what I have on right now, is Lolita 1. Lolita 2 is very more chestnutty as described, and it um, is like borderline brick color. So I've been looking for a brick, so it all works. These two will definitely be in heavy rotation. Um, what I hate is that it is, it's exclusive to Sephora and all makeup junkies go to Sephora so it's just going to be so hard to get and so thankfully a co-worker of mine was able to like tell me like yeah they have them like go check right now and so I was able to do that or else I would have missed out so um that sucks because they're only exclusive to Sephora um but other than that Kat Von D you rock with these um I really don't have much else to say except for that I really like them and I like the shades that I purchased and the fact that I only pay two dollars so I'm always here for a bargain so I just want to show them off give me your thoughts um, on how you wear your Lolita lipstick like right now this is just like a simple makeup look 
just have on BB cream and a little brow and I'm out the door. So like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching this very, very short video.